Happy Monday, everybody. What's up? Um, so, um, yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> There's not much more I can say. Um, so, uh, I do apologize that Saturday a video did not go out. I thought I did uh, render that and put that out, but I did not, so I'm doing it right now. Um, then I'm rendering out um, Sunday, uh, Saturday's video for today so that that goes out hopefully on time and then um then of course this video goes up tomorrow for you today whatever uh, so um what has happened took the weekend off uh, took the sunday off i did um do a few things um like small things um just like straightening up and cleaning up uh, things that are just very much needed at that level, but nothing video worthy. So, um, so there's that. I successfully made it the entire day without putting pants on. With that said, um, not putting pants on. Almost. I almost didn't make it because I still ha I had to take out trash. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> trash does, they don't pick up trash until Tuesday. So I don't have to put this out until tomorrow. So that's what I did. It's mostly recycling stuff. So I wasn't really worried about it, you know, smelling up the house or anything. So just left it by the door. And now it's outside. <laughs> um... So, so far today, in between working on videos and whatever else, um, I went ahead and I put on uh, filler on the legs that I'm doing for the customer, um, for the one customer, and I went, and went ahead and did a second rotation around the table that needs to be sanded, and I uh, went ahead and patched that up um, where it needed to be patched up, so... So that is now officially ready to be sanded. Um, I got an order for some stuff. Some stuff came in. Some fabric. Fabric came in. And some other stuff came in that I needed. So I should be able to get, um, get a lot done today. Um... What else? So I'm normally, and, and I, I know I said I was going to probably try to do a weight loss video, but since I'm not ready to do that yet, I was going to wait until after the relaunch, but since it's not relaunch, I'm still doing this. Um, today being August 3rd, for those who didn't, who are still, you know, counting along. So, um... I decided, what was it, yesterday, I decided to jump on the scale. And I was like, you know what, I haven't, I haven't weighed myself in a while. Let me just go see how much I weigh. I lost 22 pounds since the last time I weighed myself. I'm proud of that. That mean that's um let's see when did I weigh myself last? The last time I weighed myself was May 30th. Um so then June, July, so 2 months and a little bit um I lost 22 pounds. So it's 11 pounds a month. I'm happy with that. If it can keep going like that, I would be ecstatic because I would really like to get back down to at least 200, um, 200, 200 220, um, because I think that's going to be the, the weight where I feel the best at. Um, and I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for anybody else, okay? I know there are people out there that want particularly I to have a thinner person 
But those people don't look at me, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, and I know there are people that are okay with the way I look. I'm fine with that. But even though I am also okay to an extent of the way I look, I'm not okay with the way I feel. Okay? One of the things that should be... Um, one of the things that really needs to be... Um, how do I put it? I, I'm losing words. Words are hard. Um, if I lose weight, one of the things that, that should go away is sleep apnea. Now, um, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea when I hit about 2... 70 I would say so it's been a while um and it's only gradually gotten worse the heavier that I've gotten I don't mean I don't mind being the way I am it's just the sleep apnea is a part of me that I do not want to be a part of me anymore um then there's also the motivation with um, people passing away that are about my age or having an issue at about my, my age that um, and it's like okay they're about my age they're also overweight like me I need to do something too you had Kevin Smith had a heart attack about my age um, then you had, um, Heavy D. Heavy D, who would dance looking like me and feeling great on stage all the time, died looking like me at my age. And then, like, the nail that hit, the, the nail that hit the, co um, the nail that sealed the coffin... Or the nail in the coffin. Well, anyway. The straw that broke the camel's back. How about that? <laughs> um, was um, last year in May, my brother passed away. About my size. Close to my age. And that was like the very last straw where I was like, okay, I really need to, I really need to lose weight. And... I need to do it fast. Um, all of us kids are overweight, or have been overweight. Um, my sister that's in the hospital, she's lost a lot of weight so far, and we're just hoping that it stays off this way. She doesn't have as many um, uh, problems that I like I do, or like you know that we've had in the past. Um, and then I had another talk with my other sister, where it was the same thing. We were talking about how um, we've been fine being big. Fine being big. Until we started having issues. So, now we're trying to get rid of those issues. Um... Yeah, so as soon as we get rid of these issues, we'll be fine. Um, as we lose a little bit of weight, issues of this issues will disappear. Because um, there was one thing that I learned when I was in Germany is that um, a lot of things that ail us can be fixed with a proper diet. And I've been doing my best. I'm doing a what I call a flexitarian diet. Um, and I'm not doing it as a lifestyle, but it's a diet for me where I eat mostly vegan meals. Um, and then every once in a while I'll have a hot dog, a hamburger or something like that. Um, every once in a while, um, 
so that I can have less omega-6, which is not good in your, um, in your body, even though omega-3 counteracts it, but I already have that all in my body, so I need the omega-3 to take care of what's in my body already, so I don't need to keep stuffing more into it. So, that's one thing. I've also cut down, way down on carbs, uh, way down on sodium, um... I think I cut even way too far down on sodium because um, when I drink Pedialyte, it's like it's a shock to my system. It's like, whoa, you got sodium in your body. Let's go. <laughs> and then I'm, I don't, I'm not feeling very well. And it actually takes me, when I start, when I, if I wait until I feel bad to take um, Pedialyte, while I'm working in the heat, then it takes like three bottles of the stuff to get me back to normal. Uh, and that's with drinking a half a gallon to a gallon of water with it. So, anyway, so that's my story so far. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to finish up the legs, or at least try to, um, as long as nothing distracts me. I have two videos that I got going. Um, well, one rendering now, then I got another one to edit and render that one. That one's going to be a little bit longer because that one's going to have the test that I did on the new stain that I am adding to my shop. Um, now that I know how to work with it, I'm going to have 14 new colors that you can get for your tables. Just hit me up and we will work something out. Um... And the written, the mixed test basically just uh, um, gives me the ability to um, mimic other wood. So the whole my whole thing is you don't need to have exotic wood because exotic wood is expensive. So I can make walnut. I can make wood look like walnut easily with. Um, with some stain. So, I use a wood that's practically white. Um, it's most it's pine, which sometimes... Oh, I'm, I gotta trim this. Um, <laughs> so I use pine, which is mostly white, uh, or is a bright colored wood. And then the stain makes it into something else. So, um, this one that I'm working on right now is Purple Heart. So, I think I got the mixture right for Purple Heart. We're going to test it um, on a table that I have that I haven't done yet. I haven't colored yet. Colored stains yet. <laughs> Duh. And um, we're going to see how, how that looks. Um, and Purple Heart is an expensive wood. It really is. Um... I can only get, like, small, thin pieces of uh, Purple Heart for a decent price, where I would need, if somebody said, oh, I would like to have a, a table out of Purple Heart, I would need to spend a lot of money just to get Purple Heart here. That's shipping-wise. And then, um, then even getting the right lumber that I need without needing to mill it or anything, because I do not have the tools for milling, um, you know, that's a different story. Then, um, what most people don't know is Purple Heart Sawdust is not good for your health at all. So you have to take even more extra precautions when, you, when you're working with that type of wood. So, so yeah, so it's a thing. Um, and then I figure, why should I, I mean, if I can give you purple heartwood and not have to give you the purple heartwood price, I save you money in the long run and we're both happy. So, um, reclaim wood still outside. Um, I'm probably going to break that down today while I'm doing some other cutting, because um, I do have a couple of boards that I need to cut, and I need to 
Um, I need to do a topper for the table that's outside, so that can be sanded as well. And I also need to play, make the playing area for that table coming up here soon. So, um... So I'm like, all the wood is prepared for me to use it. I've gotten it out of where I've had it. Um, it was always all... For some reason, I thought I pulled it out away from the wall. Because that's the next wood that I needed to use. And I didn't. So everything that we, I had purchased recently was in front of it. So I had to dig it out. Stupid me. But anyway. Um... If I have anything to show, I'll show you guys, um, as, as I always do, and um, if there's anything else that comes up, I'll show you that as well. Alright, so I'll check you out, check you later. Okay, so here is something I wanted to show. This is an experiment that I did um, recently that has... Um, gone awry, I guess, or given me not the results that I wanted. So, there's a lot of people that say, take your paintbrushes, wrap them in plastic, and put them in a plastic bag, and put them in the refrigerator, and that'll protect them. Okay? So, well, I don't have plastic wrap or anything like that, but, um... I took from some of these I took wax paper and for some I used a glove and the results that I have are this polyurethane don't do it with that um, but with the stain what I've noticed is the, these here that are in wax paper, these dried out. The ones that I wrapped in a glove, because I didn't have the um, wax paper on hand when I was putting them away, these are still usable. They're still pliable. These, well this one's kind of okay. I think this one might be sealed. This one here might be sealed better than the others. But like this, that's rock hard. Same thing here, rock hard. But this here, nice and soft. This here, well, this one's okay-ish. I could probably still use that one. But these here, so it's like a 50-50 thing, I guess. I don't know. So polyurethane, no. Stain, 50-50. And the thing is, the reason why I wanted to do it this way is because these are like my most requested, well, this is like my, this is my most requested stain here. Um, second to this one here. So, or this one's second. This is first and second. The rest are just every once in a while I get an order that somebody wants these. And, um, yeah. So, these, useless. So, I'm going to be throwing away four brushes out of eight. Better than what I used to have. Now, I'm kind of sad about this one because this is one of my good brushes. Like, let's see, I can see now that it hasn't been, it wasn't completely covered. And like under here, it feels like that still might be good, but this up here up front is dead. Oh well, so I'm going to continue doing this for now. Um, this usually works very well because the oil and the stain that I usually use
or the um, polyurethane and the stain that I usually use, they're both oil based. So soaking them in oil is fine. Of course, when I'm ready to use the brush, um, well, this is fresh um, oil here, but as soon as like, um, if there's a lot of residue in the bottom of the oil, I seal it up, tape it up, throw it away. Um, never down the drain. So, but this has been keeping my brushes good uh, so far. Um, it does. It has not been able to revitalize any of the brushes that I've used in the past. I mean, I guess I could try that, but. I didn't have a good good experience with that in the past, so why should I do it again, right? So, yeah, so all of this, this gets thrown away. These I get to save. Um, might want to get the air out of this. Maybe that could be a problem, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so 50-50 out of this whole experiment, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm sad that I have to throw away brushes though, as I wanted to basically wanted to be able to just label them and say, okay, the next red mahogany table that I get, I can have the brushes ready for them. I don't have to, you know, waste a new brush for it. But good thing is, which is the reason why I'm not stressing too much about it is I have a large box of chip brushes. And see, there's my good brush, my last good brush. Oh no, this is a brand new one, never mind. <laughs> good brushes. Anyway. That is a lesson learned. Um, next thing, also what I'm doing is I've taken the stain and put it on my clipboard now it's not really going to show a purple heart colorish because this is mdf so the next the real test is going to be on something else probably on one of these just a test so it could be anything anyway let me get back to what i was doing Hey, what's up? So, it is late. Um, I sat down to edit my video, and again, like I said, I realized that I forgot a video, so I had to do that one first, waited for that one, and then I went and did the second one. The second one is almost an hour long. I apologize for that. Um, but there is, um, <laughs> the good thing that's coming out of it is that there's a, another video that's coming out of it that's just going to be me testing the stain. So, since it's getting dark outside, or it is dark outside, and I need to, um, I'm not able to use my power tools at this time, uh, point uh, bleh, at this moment. I can't work on the legs, can't work on the table. So what I'm going out to do is get a fresh tarp, some bungees, and I'm gonna cover up the table because um, even though the hurricane was um, downgraded to a tropical storm, um, it could still get the table wet, which is not a, uh, something that I want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the tarp on to protect it. All right, see you after that.